Hey folks, thanks for stopping by. I thought I'd kick off 2018 with a, a small shop tour and go over what my goals are for this year. Kind of a, a yearly review and new year shop resolutions. My shop is a two car garage. Uh, it's 18 by 20. Let me show you around. Most of my turning projects start right here. I use a chainsaw to cut logs into turning blanks. This is my sharpening station. I use a belt sander for scrapers, skews, and my spindle roughing gouge. I use a work sharp with a Tormek jig for my other gouges. I prefer a flat grind instead of a hollow grind that you get with a typical grinder. Once I've split the logs and removed the pith, I move to the bandsaw. It's a 14 inch Rikon. Next to that is my pin blank storage, or at least the main stash. You'll see that I have pin blanks in a few places. I really need to break down and organize them a bit better. On the right wall, you see my main tool chest. It has both hand tools as well as a few power tools. Nothing special. Next to that is my drill press. I have a pen drilling fixture on a piece of MDF that I can quickly drop in and go to town. Along the right wall are my small router table, oscillating spindle sander, and chop saw. Above the router table is my drill bit and router bit storage. Next is a station for some cordless tools, and next to that are some clamps. They're sitting on a chunk of countertop and bathroom cabinets that I've been carrying around from place to place since 1997. Uh, one of my goals this year is to cover this wall from floor to ceiling with raised cabinets and a proper countertop. Between these cabinets is my small planer. Parked in this little nook is my table saw and accessories. It's on a mobile base. I can pull it to the center of the shop when I need to use it. It doesn't get as much use as it used to. Back here is my taller workbench. Right now it's mostly storage. I have my scroll saw, Shipoko CNC, and a small laser engraver, as well as my ring press. I'm just getting started in segmented turning. That's another one of my goals for this year. And this little alcove is my fridge. And on top of that is my fire extinguisher, a TV, a DVD player, and a Roku for watching YouTube. This table is the center of my shop, both literally and figuratively. This is where I lay out projects, draw out plans, assemble pins, and do some embellishment. It's brightly lit by a T8 fixture that a friend gave me. I also have some materials up there, as well as my jet air filter. Below the table, I have a small air compressor and the airbrush supplies as well as my pyrography equipment. On the side of the table, I have pen kits and Plano tackle box organizers, and behind that is more blank storage. I have two lathes, a Laguna, and a small jet that I use mainly for pens these days. I keep most of the turning chips contained with this shower curtain. Many of my turning tools live on this rack that I made a while back. It's double-sided and rotates on a large Lazy Susan. The other side is mostly jigs, measuring tools, and vacuum chuck bits. In between, there are, of course, more pin blanks. I keep most of my drive centers, live centers, chucks, and chuck jaws in this toolbox under the Laguna. There are a few more tools on the chunk of counter over here as well as my sanding roll organizer. On the wall above that is my library of books and product manuals. There are also DVDs and magazines in the cabinets over here by the kitchen door. Beside the lathe is my big compressor and hose reel, as well as the regulator and filter for it. Beside the compressor is a shelving unit that's filled mostly with finishing supplies and my dust collector sits in front of that. Well, that's my shop. Thanks for sticking with me. 
Have a great year, and I hope you have fun in your shops. Take care.